Hello, my name is Fred McNeil, and thank you very much for watching QAC TV 7. You know, every year we've started this very nice tradition on Channel 7 that we do something special for the holidays. And what we've done uh, for a couple of years is read Twas the Night Before Christmas. It's a wonderful story, and as we have all these wonderful holidays that people are celebrating during the month of December, it's a great way to get you in the holiday mood. Now, we want to do one thing when we talk about traditions and holidays. Not only the night before Christmas is a wonderful story, but there's stories behind the story. Every year, a gentleman named Dick LeBeau, who was a Hall of Fame football player for the Detroit Lions and then became a great coach with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he would get all these NFL players together, get them in the locker room, and it was an annual tradition with the Pittsburgh Steelers, these 300-pound super athletes sitting around and listening to Dick LeBeau read the Twas the Night Before Christmas. So for all my Pittsburgh Steelers fans, we're going to make you happy. We're going to get in our Dick LeBeau mood and get our Pittsburgh Steelers stuff on. Apologies to Ravens and Redskins fans. And now, let's use our imagination. Think back when you were a little child, and it's the night before Christmas. You can't wait to see what Santa's going to bring. You're getting drowsy. You're almost ready to go to sleep. You've put out some carrots for the reindeer, milk and cookies for Santa. Just think of those wonderful days you used to have as we read Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With an old, little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his corsairs they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, Comet on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricanes fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the corsairs they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed 
like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right old jolly elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. And a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to give his team a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. On behalf of everybody at Queen Anne's County TV7, we wish everybody a wonderful holiday season.